Hello, I'm Archie, Archibald Chesterfield III, and the following is a paid review. This came in from Dave. He goes, hi fucker, oi fucker, can you, how much cash should I carry to bangers? And I'm not sure how I can access cash once I'm there. Will my US ATM card work there? Would love to catch you in bangers. I would buy you dinner, a drink, and a ladyboy. Fucker, I'm a big fan of your work. For lack of a better term, keep up the shit. This is from Dave. Very good question, Dave. And uh, Dave, i got to say to you, thank you so much for the donation. Now, Dave, how much money? What I would do is this. This is my advice. Yes, your ATM card will work in Bangkok. They take Visa, Visa, MasterCard. It all works there, as well as your ATM card. But sometimes you've got to let the bank know you're going on a holiday to Bangkok, because sometimes they will freeze the card if they see transactions happening in Bangkok. Now, what I normally do is, in Australia, they screw me. When I go to an ATM machine and take cash out, they fucking charge me a fee. So, as long as you're happy taking cash with you, I would take cash and then change your US banknotes in Bangkok at a money changer. And that would be the cheapest, lowest cost way to get Thai baht. Now, personally, 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 I would, uh, how much do you need there? You need to tell me how long you're going for. I need more information, but I would say, you know, I, I look, it depends what sort of holiday you want there. I was talking to one guy today. And uh, he told me he was spending a thousand Aussie a day. A thousand fucking Aussie. I mean, that is a lot of money to spend. And I, I just said, fuck, that's crazy, man. That's 25,000 baht. And, uh, you know, you've got to be sensible, man. I mean, he, he went to one bar and he raked up a 9,000 baht bill. He was buying lady drinks and... He was just being a fuckhead, and there's no reason to do that. Step back. Don't, don't, don't do that. Money is too hard to make. So I, I would say, realistically, how much money would you need? Well, if you've already paid for your hotels, hotels in Nana are about 1,000 to 2,000 baht. 1,500 baht a night gets you a reasonable mid-tier hotel like the Grand... The... Grand Dynasty, the Grand Dynasty Hotel. I would probably allow, I personally, see I'm a very value, value conscious fucker. I don't like to waste money. I negotiate a deal with the girls. I think myself, I wouldn't be paying more than 3,000 baht long time. Okay, and if she's staying for more than two days, I would, I would, Pitch that at two and a half thousand a day, you stay with me three days. That's how I would pitch it, because you don't want to be overpaying. I, I was in one bar, and one girl wanted 5,000 baht overnight. That's fucking ridiculous. That is just crazy. Crazy. So you need to be careful. You need to be on your ball there. Basically, short time, I, I personally, see, I don't like taking baris out. I like to get freelancers, because freelancers, there's no bar fine. No bar fine? Better for me, fuckers. The other line is, I had a good friend of mine who used to say to girls, he said, look, I'm staying in the Nana Hotel or where Dynasty, wherever you're staying, and say, look, if you don't get a man tonight, come and see me. Here's my phone number or here's my room number. And uh, we'll do a deal. So you could get the girls for, say, a thousand bucks. Thousand baht overnight. That's another concept. That's just a concept. So how much money do you need? It depends how you're going to be, be living. But I'm pretty frugal. I'm pretty frugal. On my last trip, I took 100 US dollars plus I had 1900 baht, which is about 80 bucks. So that's about 100 and... 100 and 180 bucks, and someone gave me another 100 US to spend. A really cool fan. So, I didn't take a lot. See, I, I do a little bit, you know, you've got, got to, got to make ends meet, fuckers. You can't just, you can't just, you know, you can't just party hard if you haven't got the loot. 
So how much would you need a day? Look, I, I would try and, if you're having a real, you don't want to be so stingy. I would say about three to four hundred a day, but that's about it. I wouldn't be going more than that. I'm Archie Luxury, giving an honest advice to mongers. Tell me what you nasty, vicious fuckers think of that. Nice one, Archie. Another great vid. We specialize in the repair of Rolex and Patek Philippe watches. We've been doing the same thing for more than 25 years. We have a Rolex technician certified by Rolex who actually used to work for the company for many years, like if we're doing the work on the factory. We completely disassemble the watch and we put it to work, like brand new condition. When you get the pre-owned watch, it's like if you're getting a brand new unit. The only difference is the money. Archie Luxury diet snack. Turkish bread, a little bit of extra virgin olive oil and balsonic vinegar. It makes the perfect afternoon snack, fuckers. Mmm. Perfect afternoon snack. Mmm. Archie Luxury Weight Loss. The secret to a better life, fuckers.